sometimes I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Like I'm the only one. And I, I know I can't be. I just can't be. Because I know one thing to be true. And I know there has to be others that agree with me. Corey Gray sucks. He absolutely, totally, completely, wholly, freaking sucks. I do not understand for the life of me how so many of the YouTube reviewers and the wrestling critics will bash and bash and bash the commentary teams for WWE's main shows, and yet somehow Corey Graves comes out unscathed from this, like he isn't a part of this shit show, like he isn't a major contributing factor to why the commentary does absolutely suck. What the hell is it about Corey Graves that is so special that so many of you guys schlob his knob and get down on your knees and suck it for him? He is terrible. And that's not even just talking about his stupid little ferret face with his whack-ass beady eyes, his lame-ass neck tats. Ooh, look at me, I'm like a combo of CM Punk and Jared Leto with none of the personality, charisma, or appeal of either of those guys. And what the hell is that thing on top of his head? What the hell is that haircut? And before you sit there and come at me with my freaking cancer patient cane look, oh well, I own it. At least mine looks respectable. At least mine looks like a haircut a man would freaking have. What the hell is that on top of Corey Graves' head? Looking like a skater bitch from the 90s. It's stupid. But then it just boggles my mind to no end that people worship this guy. They talk about how great he is. Ding dong dumb dicks, he's not. He is terrible. First of all, here's what I don't understand about why so many people love Corey Graves on commentary. What in the bluest of blue fucks did this dude ever do to earn any type of credibility where he should be a commentator on one of the main brands, Raw, SmackDown, both? What the hell did he do? He couldn't even get past NXT before concussions ended his career. And believe me, even if concussions hadn't ended his career, he would have gotten up to the main roster. Vince would have saw him, realized he wasn't any damn good, would have sabotaged him, and he would have been future endeavored down the road any damn ways. So we take this dude who didn't have the ability to really be something on the main roster, move him into the commentary team, which is fine when he's at NXT. If he's a color commentator in NXT, he actually wrestled at NXT. He worked in NXT. He could speak to that. He has credibility there. But somehow along the way, this transitioned into a thing where we were so desperate for help at the commentary table that we took this dude that was never a main roster talent, most certainly was not a main roster star, that doesn't have name recognition with the vast majority of the WWE audience, and now we're throwing him out there on the main shows and expecting him to be able to be the facilitator to help tell the story to millions of television viewers? Give me a fucking break. You can sit there and bash and bag on Booker T's commentary all the hell you want, but I promise you this much, at least you know Booker T is legit. At least you know Booker T actually drew money in wrestling, something Corey Grace could only think about and imagine about and fantasize about. What is it? Why do you guys give him such a pass? Is it because you look at him and see yourself in him and see somebody that had no business ever being on a WWE main roster and wasn't going to have the talent to be on a WWE main roster? But he's like a fan. He's like one of you. He's younger. He's hip. He's fresh. He's new. He's different. No, he's dumb. He's stupid. And sitting there and liking him to the degree it seems like so many people do, to the fact that they excuse him, even though they bash and rag on the commentary teams of Raw and SmackDown consistently, is stupid. He has zero credibility. Absolutely none. Like even Jonathan Coachman has more credibility, significantly more credibility, than a freaking Corey Graves does when it comes to being a WWE main roster performer. Coachman's been there. He's done that. Unlike fucking Corey Graves. Not to mention the mainstream name recognition that Coachman brings having his time from both WWE in the past and ESPN and all of that. And even in that case, it's still odd to have a three-man commentary team. I don't like that fundamentally to begin with. I feel like it sets these guys up to fail. But here's the second issue with that. You can make a three-man commentary team work if you have a straight-down-the-middle play-by-play guy 
a heelish guy and a baby face guy. Those are the dynamics that freaking work. But it is impossible to have that when you have Corey Graves and his incessantly dumb dick flip-flopping from one character, one match, one story, one segment to the next. One time he's healing out, the next time he's baby facing, the next time he's baby facing on a heel, the next time he's baby facing on a baby face, but then he's healing on a face, but then he's healing on somebody like a heel like Elias. Continuity, my ass, it's fucking stupid. It throws the whole dynamics of everything off when you don't know from one match to the next what the hell this guy's going to be about. How can the other guys around him be able to feed off of him, feed to him, if they don't know what the hell he's going to be doing? This is one of these smart mark fucking dumb shit type of things like, I'm going to do what I want for who I like and for who I do, don't like. No. Commentary, when it's at its best, has been done certain ways for a fucking reason. It either works best in one or two ways. With a two-man booth, you've got your straight-up play-by-play guy who's babyface, and then your healed-out color commentator. Or, if you have a three-man commentary team, straight down the middle, no BS, leaning babyface play-by-play guy, extreme white meat to edgy babyface, and clear-cut heel over here. You can't have that with Corey Graves because he can't make up the fucking mind who he is and what he is. And you can take your reality era crap and shove it up your ass. It's part of the problem with professional wrestling today. People want to act like they know better than they really do. People want to act like the way things used to be done are passe and outdated. No, they're not. What happens is, is people try to hijack shit and do whatever the hell they want, up to and apparently including the commentary team. And what happens is nobody gets over in the right goddamn way. Stupid. We sit there and kiss this guy's ass. Who the hell is he? In terms of the main roster and main roster credibility, I have every bit as much right to be a color commentator on Raw or SmackDown as fucking Corey Graves does. And how ridiculous is that? How stupid does that sound? I know, believe me. So if it sounds stupid to think of me as a color commentator on Raw and or SmackDown, then why the hell is it okay for Corey Graves? Well, he's behind the scenes. That doesn't mean shit. He worked at NXT. That doesn't mean shit. It doesn't. NXT, one of those indie fucking circle jerks with a much higher production value. That's what the hell that crap is. And then to sit there, what is his personality? Like, what the fuck is Corey Graves and who the hell is Corey Graves? If you're saying his whole personality is to be a grating, annoying little twit, the commentary version of Enzo Amore, well then, congratulations, mission accomplished. But in all seriousness... Like, you can like me or not like me, but at least I have a personality. At least I come across and make some type of impression. What the fuck does Corey Graves do? Other than take unnecessary cheap pot shots trying to make other guys look bad on commentary, namely Booker T and specifically Byron Saxton. You know? Why would he want to bash on those two guys so damn much? You want to say you're working it, part of the shtick and part of the character, but it's not one of these things like you look at the NBA on TNT crew with Barkley and Shaq and Kenny the Jet. These are legit guys that have credibility that were all-stars in Barkley and Shaq's case, freaking Hall of Famers, and they're actually funny when they do their crazy crap. Like Corey Graves goes out of his way to try and outsmart everybody else and be funnier than everybody else, and he humors nobody because he's fucking lame. So sick and tired of seeing Corey Graves getting a free pass and all this crap and making out Corey Graves to be something great. If Michael Cole sucks, and he does, if guys like David Otunga and Byron Saxton and others have sucked, which they do, then what the hell does Corey Graves do? He sucks, and apparently in order to get this job and get this job and for have so many people to kiss his ass, apparently he sucks and he does it really well. Now, I can see why Booker T's getting so pissed at him. I can see why Booker T wants to fight his ass. Little cunt. Now, granted, Booker T should know well enough. You're a Hall of Famer. People will actually remember you. Corey Graves is an annoying zit in the history of the WWE and Monday Night Raw. That's what he is. Booker T has a legacy. Corey Graves has no chance at one. So Booker T should grow the hell up and get over it, too. But it's this whole thing of the excuses being made for Corey Graves and the kissing his ass all the time and sucking up to him and praising him unnecessarily like he's immune and exempt from the criticism for what we 
unanimously all consistently agree on is that the commentary is the absolute shits. You know, sometimes the past is the past and it's best left in the past for a reason. But then there are those instances where it used to work in the past and it worked for a reason because it would still work now and it is the way and reason you should do it. But not in this kind of internet smarky fucking the marks are actually in the business era. We want to outsmart everyone else. We want to be smarter than everybody else. We want to look better than anyone else. And we want to hijack shit and do whatever the hell we want. And that's what Corey Graves does. And all he does is helps contribute to the absolute suckage of the commentary team. Because, once again, from his look to his act to his lack of personality... His stupidity in terms of even trying to tell the story on commentary to his unnecessary pot shots, to his lack of credibility. Never forget this. Never forget this. Corey Graves absolutely sucks.